A paddle-legged marine reptile named Almost a Lizard by puzzled paleontologists. The first species of its kind to be discovered. This is the Plesiosaurus. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Dinosaur Channel. This is your home on the internet for all things dinosaur and prehistoric. I'm your host, Tal, and today we're going to be talking about the awesome ancient marine reptile called the Plesiosaurus. But before we jump into everything you need to know about the Plesiosaurus, I want to remind you guys to subscribe and turn on those notifications so you don't miss a single episode we do moving forward, because we are indeed covering all the dinosaurs and prehistoric creatures within the Jurassic Park and Jurassic World universe. Also, leave us a dino-sized thumbs up and comment down below a dinosaur or prehistoric creature you would like to see us cover in the future. As well, you can become a member on this channel. Join and unlock cool icons and emojis you can use when interacting with our channel. With that being said, let's learn all about this plesiosaurus. So what does plesiosaurus mean? Well, it means near lizard, near reptile, or approaching sauria. Sauria is a clade containing most of the common ancestors of reptiles as well as all the descendants, so dinosaurs, crocodiles, lizards, snakes, turtles, even birds. So it was named almost a lizard since the creature looked closer to reptiles than more fish-like ichthyosaurs. And ichthyosaurs were found in the same rock strata just a few years earlier. The plesiosaurus was first described and named in 1821 by English paleontologist William Conibert and Henry de la Bach. I don't know why I gave them like a French accent. I, don't, I really don't know. The plesiosaurus was the first plesiosaur discovered and named. As a result, it has since become a wastebasket taxon and many water-dwelling reptiles were thrown into the mix. Many species formerly called plesiosaurus are now renamed and most of them do not even belong in the same family. And that family is plesiosauridae. So when and where did this creature live? Well, the plesiosaurus lived during the early to middle Jurassic period around 135 to 120 million years ago. The majority of plesiosaur fossils have been found around Western Europe like England, Germany, and Norway. Now remember, this was a sea creature, so it could pretty much swim anywhere around the world. And what did plesiosauruses look like? Well, it had a distinctly turtle-like form with a small triangular head with a sharp corn-shaped, slightly curved teeth. It had a long and slender neck, broad body, flat chest, and large paddle-like flippers with five digits each, and a short tail. The plesiosaurus measured around 3 to 5 meters, or roughly 10 to 15 feet in total. A 19th century description of this creature was that it was just like a snake drawn through the body of a turtle, which is pretty spot on. Now, is this plesiosaurus famous or not? Well, yes, it's uh, it's pretty damn famous. Most of us might not know its name, but pretty much it's what most of us think when you hear the word or term water dinosaur, right? Then again, this is a marine reptile, not a dinosaur. The plesiosaurus has become such a part of popular culture in prehistoric media that some believe that the mythical Loch Ness Monster is a modern evolution of the plesiosaurus. Also, the plesiosaurus was mentioned in the classic 1864 novel, Journey to the center of the earth by Jules Verne. I think this book's various adaptations in film, movie, television, radio, video games, whatever, even theme park rides led to the fame of this prehistoric animal. It also appeared in the Canadian TV series Dino Dan, as well as the video game Zoo Tycoon and Dinosaur Digs, you guys probably know that one. In the Jurassic franchise, you can see the plesiosaurus in Jurassic World the game, as well as Jurassic Park 3 Park Builder, and of course Jurassic World Evolution 2. It hasn't really been canonically featured anywhere in Jurassic World or Jurassic Park yet. There might have been some very slight hints to it in uh, movies or video games, but nothing canonical that I've come to learn so far. But we know that at some point in the Jurassic universe, this creature is going to be making a debut. It just makes sense. Okay, it's time to dig into the diet and behavior of the plesiosaur. Well, the plesiosaur was a piscivore or a carnivore that mostly ate small marine life such as fish, clams, and snails. Its U-shaped jaw, sharp teeth, would have been like a fish trap, grabbing and keeping the quick and slippery fish. It was originally thought that plesiosaurus kept its head above the water like a swan and attacked like a snake when hunting prey. Kind of like, like that, a little bit of this. Paleontologists also confirmed that the neck of the plesiosaur, the order where the plesiosaurs belonged to, could not be raised high and its movement was only limited to sweeping from side to side. So instead of being an ambush predator, it is speculated that this prehistoric creature was a bottom feeder, like a vacuum cleaner, sweeping the seabed for clams and crustaceans. Other paleontologists proposed that the plesiosaur's long neck allowed it to get its head close to a school of fish while the body remained relatively concealed. Stealth mode. And uh, pretty chill for a predator like this. Getting food without the hassle of chasing anything, you just gotta be patient right? Well, this seems like an absolutely crazy theory to me. I don't know how it would be possible for the plesiosaur <laughs> to just sneak up with its head only. It doesn't really make a lot of sense. But that, my friends, is the amazing plesiosaur. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on those notifications so you don't miss a single dinosaur quick dive that we do in the future. And obviously, you can leave us a suggestion with a dinosaur prehistoric creature you would like to see us cover, because again, we're going to cover all the ones from the Jurassic Park and Jurassic World universe. Also, if you like this channel, leave us a dinosaur-sized thumbs up and comment down below a prehistoric or dinosaur creature that you would like to see us cover in the future. And if you want to 
to help support us, you can become a member on the channel. By joining the channel, it'll go a long way to helping us, or you can leave us a PayPal donation down in the link below. We'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye!